Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so back in ATS and um, I've bought another temporary truck. Um, <laughs> so I still don't know how to do this vote thing so that you can vote for the next one. So um, the next big spend that we do will be um, buying one of the yeah um, trucks that's actually in the game and uh, doing it up. So something a lot more modern than we've been driving. So um yeah, I haven't actually ever driven this, so I thought I'd give this one a try. So the Mac R, and I've got it with um, the longest, oh, the second longest wheelbase, um, and uh, 285 horsepower, 13 speed gearbox, and um, yeah, let's jump in and have a look. So all of these, um, that's obviously the one we've just come from. All of these are mods um, that I've just, yeah, briefly driven and given straight to the um, ladies. But we will um, go through some of these, especially that one. So I do seem to remember that one was pretty fun. Anyway, let's um, have a quick look at this one then, shall we? So I did have to um, teleport back to the garage. So, yeah, I've um, done it up a bit. Let's move out. Yeah, really good mod. And this is available in the Steam Workshop. Yeah, I think it looks really, really nice. Um, lots of different customization available for this as well. Right, so obviously this isn't a sleeper. Um, this is literally just two seats. But let's go for a little drive, and you'll be pleased to know the gearbox does actually work properly as well. So, where it's 13 speed, I can work my way up and end up in 8 high. So that's really good. And uh, I think this is like overdrive as well. So this will be much higher than we actually need. Um, right. Uh, so we need to pick up a job. Um, so let's do that now. So um, job market. Yeah, so we were around here somewhere, I think, in the last one. Um, but yeah, now we're here. So let's have a quick look. Um, Oh no, I should have done this off camera, shouldn't I? Um, that one might do. Uh, that one might be too long. Yeah, so let's go this one, actually, clothes. Um, but we probably won't do it in a short trailer. Um, so let's go. Actually, sod it. Um, we will do it in a short trailer. Yeah, so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. And obviously we haven't got the power that we Go straight on. had recently. Um, but we have got wing-mounted mirrors, which is uh, completely new to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've got low as well. Yeah, so I hope you're all well. Hope you're all having a good one. Even the uh, windows, uh, the wind-up is in this. It's excellent. Come on, lights. Oh, I wanted to race him. Yeah, it's weird having the mirrors there. Because for a quick glance, that's perfect. It's ideal. That's something I'm jealous of with coaches, because obviously the modern coaches have the mirrors yeah, right in front of you. So you literally just look up like that, and there they are. Um, Yeah, I do recommend, if you've got ETS or ATS, um, have a look at some coach mods, because some of them are actually quite fun. It breaks the game up a little bit as well. Um, yeah, some of them are actually quite nice. 
and it's a completely different experience as well it's um obviously much smoother much more quiet so great for if you just want to go for a drive listen to music you'll lower down to Lorian. and um if you've got ets i can't remember whether i've mentioned this but if you've got ets i highly recommend getting pro mods and then um, going onto their website going onto add-ons and getting the great step because it's fantastic it's kazakhstan but the map is just so good so perfect So we used to have Safeway in the UK, but it was a supermarket. I don't know whether it's the same as that. Oh, lights are green. Right, I really do hope with this gearbox we'll still be able to get up to a decent top speed. Go straight on. Okay, Sky. Yeah, I like it so far though. I like it a lot. It's nice to have a little bit of a difference. But obviously I've got to get used to where the wheels are at the front Keep right, right going off here and then turn uh brakes do seem quite sharp if I'm honest turn right. Go straight on. yeah i think we will get out to a decent speed and top Okay, God, the mirrors are a long way. <laughs> I went for the golden bulldog as well on the uh, bonnet there. And the horns are pretty good. So, testing now. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Right, so let's go and pick up a load. And yeah, much longer wheelbase than our last one as well. But just building up to... Um, what's coming because I'm sure when I do manage to sort the vote out I'm sure people will want me to go for the longest wheelbase possible um so that it's more challenging uh we'll take it as is um okay yeah we'll take we it go. as is uh right so over here Okay, XPO. Why are Okay, um... Right, let's see how it does with a load on. I don't think it's particularly heavy. It's closed, wasn't it? Seven ton, yeah, so this should be absolutely fine. Um, I like the fact that the signals are on there and you can yeah, see which way it is. I also like the fact that the handbrake, when you pop that on, um, comes up with P. That's really nice. This isn't a review of the mod, though. And yeah, we'll, um, we'll use this for some time a short amount of time and then we'll be um going on to one of the other modded trucks and we'll be swapping this out for whoever we borrow it off of but i won't be buying another modified truck um another mod truck i'll just be using the stock that we've already got okay right let's have a look Love it. Turn right. Okay, so yeah, we'll um, we'll head down now towards um, Texas. So, if there's anywhere on the map that you particularly want me to go, um, 
please do let me know. So we do need, whoops, we do need to go back up to Canada for something. Um, but I might just do an extra on that. So I might teleport there. Um, I don't know yet. But yeah, that might just be an extra so that it's um, not part of the series because we're just going to be driving up one of the hidden roads. Whoops. Um, when we do that. Right, so we're, yeah. We're getting up to quite a good speed. Right, what happens if I try cruise control? Does anything change anywhere? I can't see any kind of animation or anything, but it doesn't mean that there isn't something. And obviously I've never driven a, anything like this in real life. Yeah, the brakes are too sharp, so I probably should adjust them. I hate messing with brakes. I really, really do. I can never get it right. Keep right and then continue straight on. And yeah, in this Go game, so on. I do really like ATS and ETS, but I wish that I mean this doesn't happen in most um sim games, but I wish that if you really stamped on the brakes, it acted the same as in real life. Because if for instance in any of my cars or the truck if I gently like squeeze the brake on I'll come to a gentle stop but if I stamp on them like you're being thrown forward kind of thing and um well that looks like a pretty cool road doesn't it um that's reverse jolly sorry everyone Yeah, you're being like thrown about, and that's something that most games just don't seem to be able to get right, unfortunately. And since I've um, locked it to 60 frames, um, it does seem to be performing a lot better. So I highly recommend doing that. God, that mirror is too far away. <laughs> and one of the uh, people I used to watch, he had um, expensive face tracking, you know, like the branded ones. And he was all over the place and it used to make me feel a little bit sick. I used to find myself looking away from the TV when he was doing it. So. Yeah, obviously you've got to uh, you've got to learn from others' mistakes, haven't you? And uh, yeah, so that's why I try not to look about too much, or at least try and make it smooth. Yeah, because at night, so when I've done all my recording, and obviously when I've finished my work, <clears throat> I um, I've got a massive. It's old, but. A massive TV connected up to my old media computer and um, I just watch YouTube and if there's someone that I like streaming at that time I'll really go on watch that for a bit while I eat my dinner and then go to bed so while I'm watching it on a massive screen when someone's yeah moving all over the place constantly it um, amplifies it okay lots of um, false feedback there come on mate we get a bit of a move on, please. Don't worry about the speed limit. Go down there, shortcut. Okay, I might as well just pop cruise control on at 24 then. let him do his thing um so five hours mm. six almost we might not make it nice I want one
pretty cool. I don't know if we're discovering this road for the first time. It doesn't look familiar. Um, I'm not really sure what to do here. I'm not sure whether to overtake or not. I've been quite reckless recently, haven't I? What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Make me change down. Let's do fifth. Yeah, the engine's alright though. 285 horsepower. Quite a chunk of torque. I think it's got 1200. You can have the interior as black as well. Um, you can have the surrounds for the dials as chrome. Yeah, I thought go for black and orange. And there's loads of reviews of this truck on YouTube. So, yeah, if you want a detailed guide on that, there's much better YouTubers for you to um, yeah get the information that you need. I'm not much of a mod reviewer. Please let Jolly get out of this. Nice. Sorry, mate. Just so that we get there a little bit quicker. <clears throat> yeah, there was quite a big update came on um, ATS and ETS. So, if I saw it right, it was two gigabytes. But um, there weren't any patch notes <clears throat> when it sorted it out. It was this morning, but um, I had to work straight away. But yeah, just in case there's any like huge updates, I just quickly um, opened Steam so it can do its thing. But yeah, both of them. So I don't know what that was all about. Um, this looks familiar, this bit. Oh, come on, mate. Don't worry about it being 25. Yeah, my steering wheel is making loads of noise on this road. I think it's why I keep going on the yellow there. Let's check it out. Right, so the back's all right. Yeah, okay. So there's like a rumble strip in the middle. Yeah, this looks awfully familiar, but not recent. What's it rev out to? God, quite high. Jesus. Okay, well, at least the speed's picked up now. So let's pop this up to 44. Oh, come on, mate. We've got racing stripes. Ten thousand feet. I like the road surface, so the road surface there made my wheel go to the right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I'm 
certain that people would have slept in these years ago. Not very comfortably, but you just do what you have to, don't you? Oh, stop break checking me, mate. Um, okay. Let's get a shift on. Um, the handling feels good at the moment. Yeah, this is making more progress, so Four and a half hours. Jesus. Yeah, well, I don't think we're going to be able to make it. I've got so much on this week because um, of the Steam Next Fest. So I really did do as much recording as possible last week to try and get a few in the bank of everything. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm. It, so as I record this, it's um, Thursday. And I'm just running out. I've got one more episode of this to go out tomorrow. Oh. And, um, yeah, after that, obviously, I need to uh, upload this one. But, yeah, my poor, poor internet and my poor computer, because where I've been doing so much content and I haven't got, like, yeah, 50 gigabytes of storage, I've had to convert the file and then upload them straight away so a lot of the time my PC's been running all night uploading and I hate that because obviously everything's got like a lifespan hasn't it oh I'm thinking about it this pulls away quite nicely in first as well that's another positive. So it's probably something to do with the talk. Of course, she looks moody. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's going to stall as easily as the um, last truck we were in, the FLB. Go on. I'm just trying to think if any of the newer trucks on um, ATS have got um, camera mirrors. I don't think they have, but I don't know. Right. Yeah, the brakes are way too sharp. More Rosas. Oh, 96. So I thought they were all 27. I think they used to be. Go straight on. Okay. Saab. I like a Saab. I almost had one. I understated. Yes, yeah, so that's another one of the trucks that I've got. The Argosy or whatever it's called, Argosy. So 
So yeah, we already own them, so it won't cost any money jumping in them. So what I might actually do is do this journey in this one, and then do the next journey in one of them or one of the others, and just do that for a little while. So there will be a lot of teleporting about, but... Oh, Jesus. Shot off, didn't he? We'll never make it. Keep right and then turn up. Keep right. Okay. Turn right. No worries. Yeah, so we had been this way before. Um, but it might have been on se uh, season one. Actually, I'm just going to quickly press a map. Are we st we're not in Montana anymore, are we? Uh, no. Okay. Um, come on now. Yeah, I really don't like having to look that far across. <laughs> that looked pretty cool down there, as does this. Oh. Okay, please do a nice fly by. There we go. That's right. When it works, it works really well. But when it doesn't work, it's so frustrating. Um, Brembo's. Okay, we need to go back over it. No, we're at 28 minutes already. Yeah, I've got such limited recording time available today. So it can't go over. Okay, we can go through this night. Thought I was a Mondeo for a second. It's weird having a short trailer. I imagine it is in real life as well. And longer trailers are much more predictable than short ones. I hate short trailers. So I've never driven one behind a truck like this, um, a short trailer. But I have driven many short trailers in real life. And um, like with uh, truck, um, like Navaras and stuff. And the short ones are buggers. They really are. Right. Um, you didn't see it, but the uh, light just changed to green there. So let's get going. Yeah, it looks nice though. Mm hmm, I think. Go straight on. And I've got a feeling that there's one of these in a museum in the UK, and. Uh, I think it's just outside as you're walking up to the museum. But I'm thinking back to when I was a child, so I don't know whether it's still there or not. But I do vaguely remember seeing Mac and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was not that dissimilar to how I've got this cell. It didn't have the spoiler on the roof. 
think it might have even been orange or red. Anyway. Right. 65. Yeah, so it gets up. Gets up and goes. It's alright. Have a look around at the dials. Uh, no, I'll have to turn face tracking off for that. Right, disable that. And what have we got? Oil. Water temperature. Uh, something else. Brakes. Fuel level. Okay. heater controls. Right, I can't do that anymore. That's why I'm so glad that I've got this free face tracking. Just using the mouse to look around. My goodness. Okay, 31 minutes. Yeah, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to um, pop this off the side of the road in a second because I've got such little amount of recording time left. And uh, yeah, obviously my desk isn't set up for um, taking the next call, so I think they'd appreciate a big steering wheel being there. So let's um, hop in here quickly. I'm sure there's somewhere we can park up. Jesus, I almost went past it. Yeah, that's the car that I thought was a Mondeo, but it's not. Right, not in front of a motorbike so difficult to see. Put your lights on, mate. Or even where a hive is. Like, that's, um... Let's find a new that's route. even better. But, yeah, I know not everyone wants to ride around where a hive is. And I know they flap around and everything. Oh, let's turn that off. How did he get through there? And I can't remember if there was anything in that space. Careful, mate. I see a shadow. Yep, I can see a shadow. <laughs> okay, so I really am out of time, so I'm going to have to go now. So thanks for joining me, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every view. And if you've liked this, please feel free to join me in the next one. So cheers, everyone, and bye for now.